if we go against the tribe, we're going to get kicked out. So the reason why we're so pressured to drink or we feel that pressure to drink, we can trace back to hundreds of thousands of years ago when we were roaming the earth and we were in tribes of 160. You may have heard Dunbar's tribe where he said that we were generally speaking in groups of about 160. Now, if you were ostracized from the tribe for whatever reason, that meant certain death because a rival tribe would kill you or the bear or the wolf would eat you. So that shows up in the modern world where friends are saying, hey, can I get you a drink? Let's catch up for drinks. The family are like trying to be nice and hospitable. How can I get you a drink? And the idea of saying, oh, no, thank you. And then they challenge us, why, why aren't you drinking? That hits our reptilian brain and we go, oh, fear of death. Now, of course, in the modern world, we don't have a saber-toothed tiger chasing us and a rival tribe isn't going to kill us, right? So it makes no sense. It's an irrational fear in the modern world, but nevertheless, that fear in our subconscious is still very much there. 